Oh my gosh, Rod, you've done a little bit of everything on <laughs> oh, the job. Yes, I have. But this week you're on the Oregon coast. <laughs> you know, you can mine salt or you can pull it out of the ocean. Here in Oregon, we pull it out of the ocean. This is one of my favorite ride on the job. Just the process of how they pipe water from Neatarts Bay in Tillamook County. They bring it in, they get rid of the water, they put it through filtering processes, and they're left with this beautiful flaky salt that's turned in to arguably the number one gourmet salt brand in the entire country, Jacobson Salt. Are you sold? Yes. Wow, all right, here's my story. <laughs> It's my first salt story. And here's the deal, I'm a pepper guy, so I don't know how well this is gonna go. Oh my goodness, you just heard me say that. Rod Hill, pepper guy. Jason, salt guy. You've got... <laughs> Here we go. So first off, everything in these vats, this is water right off of the bay here. Essentially, there's more of the process that has happened at this point. And it goes through a reverse osmosis unit yeah. where it cleans the water some more. And then we put them in the boils where we clean it some more. And all throughout that process, we're raising the salinity when it's about ready to make salt. Then we filter it one last time, comes into here. And then we put them in these pans and clean a little bit more until, until we start seeing salt form. So eventually all this water will just evaporate away, which is why it's warm in here for the most part? Yes, it'll eventually evaporate away. And then what happens is, is the salt forms at the top of the solution. And through yeah. a thermal current, these little pieces will slowly bond together to become a bigger, like pyramidical-like structure. And once the surface tension can't hold it anymore, then the flakes will start snowing into the bottom of the pan. Let's make some salt. All right. Wait a minute. You're not going to send me out to the barn, are you? Maybe later. OK, all right. <laughs> All right, so edge it up a little bit more so you can get all the way to the bottom. Now go. I don't know why, but I was not expecting to see so much salt. Put it on that rack. And then just let it sit here. Yeah, then we're going to let it sit. Now you can see how it's draining out the bottom. We want to get as much of that brine out as we can. And this is 100% natural salt out of the water, out of the Pacific, more or less. That's correct. Only thing we're doing is cleaning the solution. I mean, look at this stuff, yeah. man. It just flakes away, doesn't it? Yep. So what's cool about our salt is, is we have different grades, like a bigger flake. We've gotten them the size of the palm of our hand. Okay. And you can get them down to just like little tiny, tiny flakes. But what's cool about that is, is there's so many different uses. So our finer sea salt that we sell in tubes, yeah. that's more like at the beginning of the process, you're trying to make a brine while you're cooking. To what the bigger flakes to where that's at the end of the process. Do you ever think about making pepper? I mean, that's half of the demographic you're leaving out. <laughs> nah, I think we're good with salt. Okay. So we're coming out here to check the salinity. Take some water. Just dip it in? Just dip it in, it's very hot. This is hot water. Just a few drops on the surface of that. This is our refractometer. Just that's like, perfect. Oh, that's okay. It's at 19. You're gonna to want to put 19% right there. Rod Hill certifying 19% salinity, is that right? That's correct. And as it gets closer to that mark where it makes salt, which is 26.5, we'll turn the heat off, we'll filter it again, and pump it into these pans. When everything's done just right, you get flake like this. Oh, that's yeah. salt. That's you don't hear that with, with other types of salt per se. You were saying the owner of the company, Mr. Jacobson, mm -hmm. he surveyed the Oregon and Washington coastline for a, a period of time and determined this was the, the cleanest yes. bay that he found overall yeah. for what he wanted to do. The other thing that's pretty cool about Neetarts Bay yeah. is the oysters that come out of this bay. They're absolutely delicious. And so there's a lot of oyster beds out there. And oyster beds are filter feeders. So okay. when that ocean water passes through thousands upon thousands of oyster beds, you're getting a little bit of natural filtration by the time we even pump. We have taken the salt out of the dehydrators at this point, okay. and this is where we're sifting it. But one thing I heard you say earlier, it's probably because you're a pepper guy. I am um, a pepper guy. Is that uh, <laughs> you said grinding our salt. So we don't grind any of our salt. That's what's really cool about it. You're seeing these tiny flakes. Right, this is and, very, the finest we've seen so far. Today. Right, and that is coming out of the same batch that's gonna create that flake. Okay, I am sifting the salt. Just dump it in all at once or kind of easy? Yep, you can just big old scoop. This is strangely mesmerizing. 
So we're going down to actually the intake point of where the water is coming in that contains the salt. 18,000 pounds a month starts with a three inch line that ends right there. The salinity in the bay can be anywhere from one to three percent. And uh, the highest we've seen is maybe three and a half, four percent. I'm a mashed potato, heavy butter, fairly heavy salt guy. Your favorite way to use salt? I love our finished flake on some nice, fresh french fries. There's nothing better than that. Beautiful Neatarts Bay. I see it. Do you see it? I see it. Salt! <laughs> That's right. Nothing like Dave's hanging out with a good friend at the Oregon coast and talking about salt. It was a fascinating story. Now, I gave you guys, they sell at Jacobson Salt, they have a salty uh, classic caramel. Mm -hmm. I think most of you have. Mm -hmm. Christine I've also polished have that. off That's two of the them salty already. salty hazelnut caramel. Now you may, it's salty. I can yeah. confirm I really they like are salty. <laughs> I can so confirm that. Caramels, yeah. <laughs> and sweet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they do have, a, they have a, a store here in Portland. They also have a store on site mm -hmm. in Tillamook County where we did the story. It's, I don't know, a 10 minute drive or so south of Tillamook. But uh, so if you're at the coast, I highly recommend stopping by. And this is a big time national brand, Jacobs and Salt. I love that it's here in Oregon. Absolutely. I do too. So that was, I really enjoyed that. I thought the, it was fascinating. The hazelnut really good. caramel yeah. is very good. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Stocking Ooh. stuffers. And then you can mail these to KGW. Just put my name on it. <laughs> and, uh, or any I'll, of our names. And I'll get that. All right, let's <laughs> get you out the door to your mother.